Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's historical fashion trend is a comeback of a trend we've already seen here. This sketch is about the crinoline. The name crinoline comes from the French words crin and lin, meaning horse hair and linen, respectively. That's because the first crinolines were linen petticoats interwoven with horse hair. Later, it became the wired structure we're more used to seeing. Differently from other historical fashion trends I talked about in the previous videos, the crinoline was rather accessible since it was a ready-made item and actually provided more freedom of movement. At the height of its popularity, 4,000 crinolines were produced in a day in London. The crinoline provided relief of wearing multiple petticoats, but made another piece essential – long cotton drawers, since one sway of the crinoline could leave the wearer's legs totally exposed. The lower hoops of the crinoline were covered to avoid the wearer putting their feet through one of the hoops and tripping. Walking beside someone wearing a crinoline was a bit tricky. It was best to walk sadly in front or behind your companion, Otherwise, the crinoline wouldn't allow you to get too close. Putting a dress over a crinoline would also be a bit of a challenge, if you're doing it without help, since the dress had to be lowered from your head and there was a lot of fabric involved, but it's possible and definitely much easier with assistance. Without the proper care, the crinoline could also be deadly. While brushing an open fireplace, the delicate fabrics of the skirt could catch fire and quickly encircle the wearer in flames. There are, unfortunately, multiple reports of women who died this way. They weren't also safe to wear, while walking along windy clifftops, for obvious reasons it would be like walking with an open parachute tied to your waist. By 1867, the larger frames of the crinoline were abandoned and a different silhouette became fashionable. It's another example of silhouettes collapsing in fashion history. But the crinoline is still around today, although in different ways. It's often worn as a supportive undergarment for wedding dresses and other ball gowns. I've already tried one myself and besides being careful while walking through doors or sitting, I love the experience. Maybe you have already tried the crinoline too? Let me know how was your experience in the comments or just what you think about this trend in general. Thank you so much for watching this video.